And the focus on the Rugby World Cup continues with something a little bit different because the Cape Mint is the first mint to have struck a Krugerrand years and years ago. This year, they struck a collection to celebrate 25 years of democracy and rugby called the Invictus Series. So Invictus is Latin for unconquerable and is the name of a well-known poem by W.E. Hendley, of which the final two lines of the poem actually read, I am the master of my fate, I am the captain of my soul. Former Springbok Lawrence Parker and designer of the collection, Natanya Vanekoek, join me now. Very good morning and welcome to the both of you. Good morning. Uh, Natanya, I'm going to start with you because it is a, a beautiful collection. What's been the response since you guys launched? It's been overwhelming and uh, unexpectedly so. I mean, you always expect things to go well, but, but we, are, we were very, very happy. Um, we expected the box to do well, and then we knew the... I mean, th there's more to this set than just this Rugby World Cup. This is the silver jubilee of South Africa's democracy. And we celebrated through the history of rugby... And Invictus was the movie that was made after, you know, the, the wonderful 1995 Rugby World Cup. And we decided taking that theme of one team, one country further, and now it's stronger together. I mean, it's just fantastic that South Africa's messaging through rugby stayed the same all these years. And, um, and that what ma it what made it so collectible is the fact that... Yes, it, it, it represents a piece of South Africa's history, but it's also in precious metal, so it also has value. But I want to say to people, please don't buy it unless you are passionate, because there's not enough. So keep it for the people that are passionate about oh, wow. rugby, okay. because it is something that your children will look after and their children will look yeah. after. It is the most... You know, medals is a very old-fashioned thing. Okay. It's one of those retro things where if you've got something to commemorate, something amazing, you put it on a piece of precious metal. It's through the ages it's always been like that. Now, you guys actually launched this uh, a couple of weeks ago, yes. and I don't think you could have asked fate to have handed you a better <laughs> hand as the Cape Mint. You used the uh, word fate. <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm just looking up. <laughs> uh, Lawrence, the last time you and I spoke, we were actually just laughing about it um, uh, on air. It was at Monte Casino, and you were handing out fines to people. Uh, it was a sponsor's drive to try and make sure that all South Africans were wearing their green and gold, but you don't have to encourage anybody after what the Springboks have managed to do, do you? No, certainly not. I think, I, like you can say as well, bog mode all the way. And uh, South Africa is all uh, hyped up uh, coming this Saturday. We're looking forward to that game as well. And obviously very important that South Africans are supporting. And obviously, synergy of this thing as well, like commemorating uh, 25 years of democracy. And obviously, after the dispensation as well, obviously, rugby has come a long way. So it's, it couldn't have been a better marriage in terms of making sure that everyone is actually in, a, in that mode of, 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 of Ubuntu and obviously growth of supporting and together. To get, I mean, stronger together actually makes a lot of sense because as South Africans, we've realized we are actually not as good if you don't come together and making sure we're backing each other and everywhere mm -hmm. you go at the moment now, we're all backing the Springboks to actually go all the way. And everyone believes, as though the states are counting against us, but mm -hmm. everyone believes, you know, that inner belief that you believe there's something up the racist sleeve that you could pull a rabbit out of a head for South Africa, that could be massive. How instrumental has uh, the pack been for the South African team and how important is it going to be going into tomorrow's match against the English? No, funny enough, I was having a quick chat with a former book here as well yeah. and we were talking about actually what we appreciated to see, the players that were selected. It doesn't matter who you picked or when you picked them, how you picked them. It's the fact that when every time they showed up, they actually came to the party and they brought everything that they were capable to bring, the physicality, the skill, the, the enthusiasm. I think that was about to leave our system. And they made sure that we, we represent them. You're not just representing you, but you're playing for more than just the, 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 the team that you're playing with. You're bringing a whole lot of community. And obviously for them to see, you're putting yourself out there and putting, bringing your best foot forward. Regardless of what the score is, at the end of the day, people are happy to see that you're actually doing the best that you can at the time you're given. Yeah, that's certainly something mm -hmm. that Rasi Erasmus was saying uh, yesterday too, was that um, for them, they will uh, have achieved something if they make sure that they actually show up in the final. Uh, what is going to be the key tomorrow for the team? No, the key is going to be very crucial. Keep it simple. Uh, do the, basic, the basics to the best of your ability. And the basics tend to look like very fancy stuff when it's done correctly. And obviously, <laughs> if they've got a game plan, 
okay. actually try to execute and don't be scared to play. And then I think this is a game that actually comes with a lot of opportunity. You'll be busy defending and a gap comes when you're least expecting it. Then you must do something with that ball. It's, you mustn't be afraid. I think a lot of times we've sensed that guys were kind of a, a bit scared to play, scared to make mistakes. And then if the coach can just release them and express themselves responsibly because it's going to be a test. Not just any test. It's a major test in the world stage. So you've got to make sure everything that you do you do it correctly, it doesn't have to be fancy, but make sure you do it at the best of your ability. And whatever the result at the end of the day, you should be proud of your effort that you're putting in there. Uh, Natanya, I want to bring it back to this collection because uh, this collection, it's a not only an initiative of the Cape Mint, but I believe that you guys have actually partnered with Absolutely. South African Rugby and the former yes. players. I you mean, the, the Springbok is, is such a strong symbol. It's our national mm -hmm. animal, but in terms of the rugby team, it is a protected trademark. So, yes, we had to partner with, with uh, Saru and with my players, which is also great. That's why we can feature the actual players on the medallion. Oh, wow. And some of the proceeds obviously goes to the players as well and to their organizations. So, so, no, definitely this is completely official and it's all manufactured in South Africa. There is nothing here. The metal comes out of South African ground. The tooling is made here. The designs are made here. This product is proudly South African. There is nothing that we cannot be completely patriotic about with this product. And I want to say to you, Lawrence, the box hasn't peaked yet. They're peaking tomorrow. Yes. <laughs> you haven't seen anything yet. We haven't seen anything yet. Yes. Good timing. Sure. Okay. So I know what it's going to be like where you guys are watching the rugby. So much discussion as it's going to be for so many South African homes. I thank you both for coming into studio to chat to us about uh, the beautiful Invictus Medallion Collection, a partnership between uh, the Cape Mint South African Rugby as well as uh, the former Players Union. Uh,